first and foremost, art is not learned. You are born with it. They weren't really appreciated. Like 10 years ago, 20 years ago. So, Kumbuyo, Kundinzabe Moon, Tragoti, Send the Tweding and Dwelling Gerabat, putting a penalty singing and Kalomini Nidimanji. There's really something boiling here in Zambia about arts and crafts. I think Africa is always in. In the world, if you want your business to grow, teach other people what you are doing so that it goes, it goes higher. And so if people can use the, you know, the, the skill that they have to do art and they can earn a living, then it's a very important thing. It's just a skill that is being passed on to the, to the new generation. But it's such a gift. In some way, it's helping the government to try and fight this poverty that the country has. There's really something boiling here in Zambia about arts and crafts. You see a number of new booths arriving every year, a number of new creative people, artisan things that are really um, interesting, um, that, give, yeah, that, that give hope that there are lots of things still to develop in Zambia in the arts and craft market, which is uh, brilliant. Leonde uh, means being humble. My, my granddad was really a humble person. He looked after so many people. And my dad hated that name, as usual. And I want to take it up from my dad. See, I lost my dad in 20,000. Uh, the reason why I started Leonde Zulu, when my sister passed on in 1999, I took all the kids. The husband passed on first, and then her. So everyone thought of uh, you, me, getting all the kids. So when we started Leonde Zulu, I wanted to make an income for those children to go to school and finish their schools and to look after them. I had to feed them. I'm a single mother, so I had to feed, to work hard and um, make uh, ends meet. Actually, from way back, I didn't do well at school. Whenever I go to school, I'd be sick. So I didn't find any time like to be in a class. So they tried by all means, my guardians tried by all means, like uh, to send me here and wherever, but it didn't work out. And in 1984, they thought of uh, uh, trying me with this uh, Texa weaving. I love doing it. Uh, the industry by then, it was unique because it wasn't common. Uh, so we had so many people like coming in to see what we were doing. Everyone was excited because they couldn't believe a wooden thing, a wooden machine would make a cloth out of it. So it was more exciting by then. But now, uh, many people know us and we are being known everywhere because um, uh, most of our customers are the expatriates and now I'm noticed a lot because I give out my business cards and everything. Yeah, we just finished an order uh, from the, we sent it to US and the buyers came in, different buyers came to, to see what the Zambian people are doing and um, one of the buyers liked the material which we have. 
Uh, she didn't want it so tight because she wanted to use it for uh, to wear at the beach to be more open because maybe sometimes it's hot that side. So they wanted something which is more lighter. This size here, we make uh, two, two a day. We make two a day of these ones. And uh, maybe if the day is good, we make two and a half, this size here. Yes, all Zambian, handmade in Zambia by the Zambians themselves. And our work is so unique because if you make something like this one, you like this one, and um, next time you come, we won't make it exactly as this one. Uh, when we joined the uh, Cotton Association of Zambia, we, be, we were asked to train the farmers for them. So in another way, we are self-employed, and then when the Cotton Association of Zambia needs us, we have to be there for them. Um, what they saw was uh, when they, the farmers harvest the cotton, they just sit. And other people are giving up, like growing cotton. They started like growing soya and everything. So when they saw that, they wanted the farmers to continue growing the cotton. So what next? So that's when the training came up. So that instead of them just sitting after they harvest, we'll go in and start training them to add value to that cotton so that they see what their cotton can make. We train them how to weave, we train them how to spin the cotton, and uh, we train them how to dye the cotton also. They can't take over what we are doing because <laughs> we are the masters and they are still <laughs> the students. So we don't mind about that. Uh, in the world, if you want your business to grow, and your name not to fade. You have to be open. Teach other people what you are doing so that it goes, it goes higher. His name is Sami Alungu. Uh, we started working with him, teaching him, I think, way back in the uh, 90s. I can't remember the day or so. And by then, the project which we had for street kids and Cindy, children of Cindy, um, was run by the Family Health Trust by then. So they would bring the children here and we would teach them. They were given um, lunch money, whatever they needed. And when that project ended, most of them just went somewhere. But some kept on coming here asking if I can give them a job or something. And that's how I ended up taking some. And Sam Lungu, I've been with Sam Lungu for 20, 20 years or so. So that's how I decided to teach him, bit by bit. I started teaching, moving from the scratch. Yeah, I want to be remembered as someone who loved the work she's doing and someone who'd help endlessly. I feel I found my purpose because uh, what I wanted to do, like look after the old age people, I still mingle with so many people here. Um, it started very, very small uh, in an area called Luwata, um, which is north of here between South Luangwa and North Luangwa. And Jilly started it, you know, sitting under a tree, working, you know, with a very small number of people and just a few textiles. And then it started growing and she would pile textiles in the back of her car and drive around to safari lodges and, and sell them. And it got bigger and bigger. and then you know international clients were coming through and they started placing export orders saying this stuff's great we should sell this you know 
in America, we should sell this in the UK, we should sell this all over. Um, so that's how the export business began. And the shop was initially a byproduct of the export business. So the, the rejected pieces from the export business were sold off in a small shop. And then as the area got busier with tourists, the shop grew and then the retail business ended up overtaking the wholesale business. And not a lot of employment in this area. We're the biggest employer. And sadly, I suppose, you know, when people aren't working, they go home and, and, and wait to be called. So if we have big orders come in, we're, we're able to call people back to work. I think Africa's always in. Um, you know, whether Zambia is in or not, I think people don't always know much about Zambia. Um, I think there's a huge global interest in African products and African crafts, but Zambia has a tiny, tiny share of that market. And, you know, why is that? Is it the sort of products we're producing that are wrong? Is it access to market? Um, you know, the retail market will be here, the safari goers will be here, but if we want to put Zambia on a global stage and get our products out there. Those two things are, are key. It's easy to set up a business in Africa, but to, to be sustainable is key. And that's where the product comes in and the people behind it. Uh, my name is Dindisa Chabwera, and I'm the production manager here at Tribal Textiles. It had always been a dream to work here. I studied fashion design in the US, and when I moved back, it was challenging to find a job anywhere because people were, like thought I was a glorified tailor, basically. <laughs> and to prove that it can be done in Zambia, where like 10 years ago, 20 years ago, fashion, music, acting, you know, documentary, none of those things, film, they weren't really appreciated. And now it's like the zeitgeist, like it's cool now to be a fashion designer, to be in film, to, to, um, to be a chef and like to do it well. So to then take it to the next level, to be in a position to be like, okay, we've done it. We've been doing it for 25 years and now we're in Selfridges and now we're in home goods and now like, Prince Harry got one of our stuff. Like to, to do it at that level, to be like, it's just really nice. Like I can't, I'm not trying to brag, but it's such a gift. Like, and, and we get it, it's so nice. Mungangeza ba entrance, kwa mene kama pakinga wa motoka, tiko ni mzapeza Hudson Market. Nge kuli market ya wantu from the community. Aoba na iti wachabe na tribal kuti atisa kasi guli silako mukati wa mene mmoja. Tiri under tribal. Sarate, Saturday Sunday, ni mapanga kat vacaving vanga. Tinga panga kunyumba, ni masira atisa pa Sunday. Monday, Nibwele sa kutraibu, wamele kuli ka bench kanga, wamele magudisira, wamele vinawaza kunyumba. Yeni mjamukati mtraibu kulifuti na mfana wangu wamele ama nigudisira. Tinga gudisa, iyo ndrama ina ya gudisika. Sia kuti traibu ima juwamo, sima juwamo ndrama hili yose. No any commission. So ni free. Wakali pamo. Kusewe nda pano pa traibu na atandizi kama ningi, so kumbuyo kutinzabe mtu wakuti sende tewe nga nga tewe nga wa kwa kutika penalti si nga nkano mene nilili manji. Sende po wa maningi. Kumbuyo kutika penalti nga nkano mene nilili manji. Kumbuyo kutika penalti nga nkano mene nilili manji. Kumbuyo kutika penalti nga nkano mene nilili manji.
inalibeka ni palikuwa sasa vinipo yamba ati mwaona utakati nosa kwa ngambe shito ile na kumutu we kumbuyo but manje at least namba yamba paka hapo ati aona ubwino wakae na ward chifuko cha chidu yangu chita ben sevenza hard working yanga na maplan ya mene nini nao yapeza kuti at least company inabwa yani gani zila kuti inipase workshop then niende na kuzanzi kuti nikaona artist anzatu mimi naita bwanchi achitira banzatu ndangati muli cha benkezi pamalo wa mozi munga buniso pa benkezi niona ngati ukukunja palibe chiriko koma ngati taenda ko kunja taona anzatu mimi papa bamene achita artist mankhalako na nzeru za mbili chifua cha kuti oshinyanja chima kamba kuti ati mwana mimi saenda aganza ngati amai wake mimi apika vija ni best koma ngati waenda out ndipo watu o kansi amai operera hapa e kansi kuli watu mene api apika so artist kuzanzi kuja mene naenda a a naona ko vitu vambiri nikambuli ningali ntandizika chifuwa cha kuti artist na pedamo phindu munchito na vamene va Kevin kuti vane pano vatribe na kwani cha kwa artist kupeleka ko afana vanga vili ku ma colleges ya from grade at this eight until the college and even neo wamene a a ka life artist kaenda ko bwino chifukwa cha nchito za mene zini nazo kusia na kulipo na manzanga chifaja kuti manje hapa at least bantu ama nifaka ko pa 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 bantu ba jamene at least opesa ko ndrama mu ate mene chita na kwa nchaka kwa artist manga ko nyumba na manga ko nyumba na gulao ka honda artist na gulao ka tv niko na masola artist ku nyumba eh masola na wambiri kuambira pa 100 words to 200 words yeah so artist ntamba dish ku nyumba eh na ka life ya artist kaenda ko bwino there's a lot of traditional craft skills in the community um, you know that have been practiced for generations basket weaving wood carving but far too often everyone just produces the same thing that their neighbor is producing and you know at the side of the road you can get 100 of those things and they might not be commercial or contemporary or what people want to see so having product designers come in who can work using the skills people already have to design products that are commercial and then introducing us to buyers you know who give us access to to a big market it's it's vital and that's how we're going to grow an institution that is empowering the rural community, especially the women that are, that are in craft making, as well as the men that are in, uh, also craft making. We are empowering the women through buying their crafts and finding marketing for them, and also trying to develop their skills in uh, traditional handcraft making. We are coming from Choma. We started uh, from Choma two hours ago. Some two hours ago, we are going to Munyumbwe to meet one, one of the groups. That group is called the Lukonde. Lukonde Women's Club. Munyumbwe is one of those groups where we, we encourage women to produce a lot of baskets. We give them designs that we want them to make. And after that, we buy from them to try and fight this poverty that the country has. So when they are, they, they, they are paid, they are able to send their children to school. They are able to, to do a lot of things using the same money. Because there's, there's a mixture of age. 
they are able to pass their skill to the young ones. Baskets are, have been made from way back in memorial. So that it's just a skill that is being passed on to the to the new generation. This is the, the chair ladies residence. Mwaga ngwenda katari kwa osa tusuo, nda katari kwa mwaga 1982. Nda katari kwa osa tusuo. Pona eji jintu, nda kaji wana kutichivo tu. Jandi kwa haku sikireji no jindi. Ndiye yao tindakari kwa ona mwaga anda kwa buhyo. Sunu nda jiko ya kwa ona mwaga anda ya masenke. Wienda muhisuo. Pona wana ndiri hede. Ino wana mbendi hede. Ndi pagulu mba kuhibaje jintu shindaka hibaka ambo, heta hibitu suo, hibana bangu nanga kujikoro taba unki. Nda hii habana bangu basika ku five hii kuinda, mgoo satu suo. So, e, inchi tono bantubareza, nda hii anda, alimu nda hii lumba kuti, kandi verega kuzu, wano ndaka tariga, kusikari mundika kuhwe, alimu nda jiko ya kuhia, abamu ibe nzuma. Eee, so mwe habe nzuma, tulagwe handiza kwa njiru wa nzala, tulari hutulagwe nda, mugu ulaja gulia amagani ya tusuo. Ii hivi ya muhi badere olu mtu waji swata, tupatira amani ingi, tulajiko ya gunya muna muru wa zwe, sugu mtu wala guji badera, kuinda mumali ya tusuo. Aya ma basket mkutu waga tariga, Nda ambe guli bama nene bari kui halaba mamama. Bagari gosa. Ino ni bagari gosa balo bari unga baosa. Ndiza bajinchi habiyo mapopke. Alari pima muhi suo balari yambo onovo. Ponya tusuko tuwa atari gaba ino potuwa higuzu. Mini nago sabi ya nguzu. Abalo gaba tatiyo mpipa na chomba miziamu gaba bola. Gatu ulana, gatu jigonya. Guli mani na mapenzi uonse. Ajata muntu. Tujirimu tunsia nsia, kama mboga kutichotuwa mboti tujirimu tunsia nsia. Ya iho mwenye iho baka liko osa bama nene, tula hiosa. Pona tuwa mana gui hiosa hiya hintu, ahalo bala ula mbana choma miziamu, kwa hiribia hiraja nga inga tula basambala. Pona otuto mwenye mbuli baba baku nga mbapali wakabikari ya tebo, Tuma fruits, fruits wala vika munga tomu wala nda gulia kotu uzubu la vila wajita kuti wali ya no inga jie ndelana kutuwe la nyatu madeko tuli munga taja gulia jabi kwa jibo tujia inga jie ndelana ngomuli mo watu otu maningi bama guwa bala tuya ndi hiha maningi tuntotu aga kantukuka osa kutawa ndi gama nihe tuwa wazinga ya kwana munga tariga kuga yala agutindiga ose agutindima nihe kubika jeji Notu waga tariga tariga, aga gomwe, nda hali gosa two days. Kamo nda gajiri gui ya vi ya ondiza, nda vika kutindivike de kwe hii, nda lubi ya. Pona halimu nda zambu nuna, halimu kutariga kutindijite buti hii, ndi galula mige. So nda hali kutola two days go managa aga garu. Pona sununonda haji hiba, Tuwa wazira kwa nagosa gaga gantu, kutindiga mani gonsi. No chonda ambi degu tariga, kambe oyu nyami nyami oyu. Tukwa gai higuwa guba na choma mizi ya mu, kutubela nyatu nsi ya nsi ya tukwa gai indi, tukwa jinyama ichi, inga nyami nyami. Pona eji jintu, no tukwa gai ya kuchoma kambo tuwala workshop for two weeks. Pona nyami nyami jituwa kari gosa mpatei kwa atola four days kubamba. Kaita kwa higuwa mba na kuma na pe. Pona ino notuwa kaji hiba sunu nyami nyami ee ipati tula gosa three days. Pona ee one day and half ndamana. 
mebo mbuliru wangu family nje jisi. Tandi kwa nika po tukusamba la ganyami nyami kwa mwa agapi. Kambo, bantu mbendi sunga wano bala kwa na 23. Bantu. Pona, nga shaji ndipa kwa amba kuti ndoose manyami nyami manji kute kwa ndi kwa ni heba ntubaya banji. Ino, ee kuti omwe, tandi kwa nika po tunubantu bade za penga shaji ndi fosi nga wamboti. Ndiri pani se ndoose hinja kuti Family ndi iwa hivu iji takuti uye ndelea. Ma tuli unwaga votu. Ali mwiji la koma ni hama ningi kambo kakuti ihi ntu hiho seru wa Mozambia. Hawa kusiga mwa Amerika. Hasiga mwa India. Kwa kuti inga tuwa hivu wa amba uti jisi za Zambia. Jira mpuo. Ii tualumba kumili imo yenu nobe nzu nyebo Tualumba kumili imo yenu sebo Tualumba ino mamile za mulele ge kumili imo Amulele mazuba onse Tualumba ino tualumba kumili imo shua Shusha The valley is a, a drought prone area And so farming is not really um, uh, notice it there because usually they don't have enough rains so they totally depend on what Choma Museum is doing for them and you see it if you miss for some time you don't buy they start calling you they will even come carrying their baskets on there they will force you to buy so but you know it has made me become so interested in what they are doing and also appreciating what poverty is because I've seen it myself and I've seen how people appreciate the little I would call little to myself when I give it to them as a museum, when I buy these baskets from them, and I see that actually they live on these baskets. First and foremost, art is not learned. You are born with it. And so if people can use the, you know, the, the skill that they have to do art and they can earn a living, then it's a very important thing because they don't need to go and find money to learn to be artisans.